Greetings. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It means the world to us. As you perhaps feel it too inside, we live in truly unique times. We, the children of the second millennium, are the direct inheritors of the torch of knowledge and technology, passed on millennia after millennium, generation after generation, of our ancestors, great insight and true sacrifice. Never before there's been so much opportunity for prosperity, yet equally so much at stake. As we are faced with the burning questions of our near future, we are called to take responsibilities for our actions. However, as you turn on the news today, you might hear or not about the emerging conflict, a violent conflict between nations and people, about a million starving while we feast, about rivers dying while we bathe in hot water, about the Amazons burning while we eat its meat, about the rising temperature, the toxicity of our air, the loss of diversity, about the impending cataclysm. The UN says we have 12 years to save the earth. What are we doing? We need to get a plan to make it and act on it. Because true or false, it seems we have it all. The power, the connection, the tools, the money. Yet it's the soul we are lacking. We cannot change the world if we don't change our minds. We have severed our connection from Mother Nature, from the very planet that we live on. And we have long lost the traditions and way of life that kept us alive in true balance and equilibrium. Well, not everyone. There are those who still fight to live in balance with nature, to work directly with their gifts, to heal and teach those willing to seek it. Maestros, curanderos, healers, shamans. My name is David, I'm but a young filmmaker from Cambridge, hoping to contribute to this world in any way, shape or form, with big hopes and <laughs> naive dreams, but I'm here today to present this project to you, and it was thanks to the man of the hour, Don Gino Chakaruna, this is the man that started it all, a great, great shaman, a maestro from the Peruvian Amazon. Gino Chakaruna. I come from, the, from Peru, from the natives of the Andes, the Incas. My grandfather was an Inca. He passed at 100 years old. He was a curandero, a healer, very powerful. So he introduced me at a young age to work with plants, the Pachamama, the Apus, nature, the wind, water, fire, and the dirt. And then later I embraced the wisdom of the Amazonian. So um, I was called the Chakaruna in Quechua, meaning Chaka is the bridge. Runa is the spirit of the human bridge. We hope to make a feature-long, emergent documentary about ayahuasca, shamanic practices and Don Geno's story. We hope to illustrate his direct connection to the world that we live in today and to pass this knowledge to the younger generations, to invite them to learn about uh, ayahuasca, about shamanic medicines and to this relationship with Mother Nature. We hope also to raise awareness about the issues connected with the growth of ayahuasca and the expansion of ayahuasca ceremonies that are sometimes done under malpractice for profit and money. And speaking of such, we want to make clear that we're not here to make any profit, that we're not here to make any extra money. Quite the contrary, we hope that if we raise some funds to donate anything that is extra to charities and groups and associations and people working with the conservation of the Peruvian Amazonia and also with indigenous people's rights and territory. Our vision is to produce a docu-reality piece that encapsulates the whole journey to Peru and beyond as a true time capsule of the shamanic traditions 
regarding work with Amazonian medicines and especially ayahuasca. To attempt to use film as a digital visionary tool, inviting the audience at first into a mystical and magical journey and a reflection of her responsibility in these present times and how ayahuasca could have a big role on it. We would start with yesterday. Beginning in the mythical and magical cosmos, beginning in the shadows, Don Gino would tell us the story about the cosmovision of the three worlds and how ayahuasca came to have a play in the beginning of humanity. And then we would move on to birth, would have a time lapse of our planet Earth and how it changed through the many years, how humans had their own influence on it and where we are today, zooming in into the life of someone that is about to live for Peru. And that's where we move on to the journey. We start from the very morning waking up in the bed of the person moving in, not just one, but of the many contributors moving in to Peru. And we would experience the journey through their own eyes. We'd see how it is like to live in a city, we'd see the noise, we'd see the chaos, we'd see the positive and negative things. And as we head on to the jungle, we'll see the change between our material, cold, grey world and the living, healing world that is the jungle. And as we start with the dieta, we'll see the healing process, we'll see Gino's vision and work, a little bit of his story, and we'll also see the shamanic tradition, and then we'll end up with the first night where we'll end up taking the ayahuasca in the ceremonies. We'll also be working with Rape, Cambo, and obviously ayahuasca. And as we move on to the sunrise, this is where we get to the depths of a documentary. As people are deep in the jungle and deep in their own minds, having incredible visionary and healing experiences, we hope to visualize them with special effects, telling the common narrative between all the participants. And then, as we move back from the jungle, as we reflect on our way back home, as we arrive at a place we once left, but not the same, we'll see the world through different eyes. We'll see the cities, but also its connection, directly to every every other aspect of life and as we arrive tomorrow we'll start to zoom out of the planet that we once zoomed in and as we zoom out we'll reflect on what we've learned we'll reflect on the state that we find ourselves today we'll reflect on the connection between our own ego and our own actions and the world that we are creating and living for our own children and as we zoomed out, we will dream and we will ask the question, what if? What if one person would change and out of one person many others would follow the same? What if a wave of consciousness would work its way to the earth and with the help of plant medicine like ayahuasca? What if we dreamed of Eden? What would the world be? And with this question and opportunity for action, we leave you. We leave you in the midst of space, into the darkness that we once came out of. A docu reality reflecting the hardships and the journey that we'll be living from the western world into Peru, into the Amazonian jungle and dealing with the substance that is ayahuasca. But also reflecting the journey and the narrative and the fantasy and magic that is the life on planet Earth and the trajectory of humankind. We hope to make it a very special documentary. I think it's also time that you meet our amazing team and I shall let them present themselves. Hello, my name is Axel Wildar. I am 32 years old from Norway and I am so incredibly honored to be a part of this documentary project. I have had the opportunity to meet Zeno at several occasions and he is just an amazing man with high integrity, with his heart in his right place and, and um, uh, an intention of serving humanity. Uh, my part in this documentary is basically going to be one of the participants' points of view. So you will be able to follow me all the way here from Norway and down to Pucallpa in Peru and then into the Amazon from there. I feel that there is something else, something more, which has kind of resonated with me my entire life. and. When I heard about the ayahuasca, that immediately struck that nerve. So I am excited. I am very much excited. And I now invite you guys to join in. Um, join in and support the project in whatever way you can, either with 
If you want to donate a couple of dollars or if you want to support it in any other way, please do. Join the cause. It's a non-profit uh, uh, documentary, so all of the support, all of the money will go directly into the documentary and nothing else. Hi, I'm Harry. I'm from Cambridge. I think we need to heal as individuals before we can heal the human race, before we can heal the earth that we live on. I'm a musician. I uh, create music on Ableton Live uh, and Logic Pro. Music is usually quite emotion based, I think, like it's very, it's like it, it's an expression of um, my emotions. Uh, so Hi, I'm Joseph. I I discovered ayahuasca two years ago with uh, Don Gino. I'm working very hard also with Cambo. That is the warrior medicine. I I want I I'll go in January in the Amazon for the dieta. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart for being here for joining us in this admission adventure and this project because without any of them the journey wouldn't be possible at all and so if you feel this project calls for your name if you feel you'll be an essential addition to the team please the doors are open send us a message get in contact with us directly and let us know we'll be more than welcome to have you we hope finishing now this crowdfunding that you better understand why we believe they're giving the shamanic practice, the ancient knowledge, this work with plant medicine, a platform and awareness is so fundamental to our global emergency and to the very challenging times that are soon on our way, while also making a beautiful, magical and very real peace. We hope to invite the, the audience into this amazing and mystical journey into the heart of the planet, into the Peruvian Amazonian jungle, into the human mind and to the planetary responsibility we bear on our shoulders. We also hope that if you feel in any way that you are willing and want to contribute to this project, that you do so, be it in ideas, reflection, criticism, guidance or monetary contribution. Because although we have paid with great pleasure the basic costs for the journey, and for the equipment and Don Gino's work out of our own pocket with great, great pleasure. There's also so much room for expanding the piece, for taking it to the next level and for bringing in the expert knowledge and paying in them well while contributing to the visual effects and to the whole journey that we hope to embody in this piece. And that you do so, we thank you from the bottom of my heart for any contribution. Mama, my father, 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 my father,